If you were from Ireland or Irish descent, you would probably know the name Brian Baru, the greatest high king of Ireland. And if you know that name, you certainly know the event of the Battle of Clontarf in 1014. That took place in Clontarf on the shores of Dublin City. Dublin City was a much different place then. A lot of people think of the Battle of Clontarf as the greatest Viking invasion of Ireland and the greatest defense of a country by the Gael of Ireland. In reality, there was settled Vikings fighting with Brian and for Brian and by his side. Of course, there was more Gael, but there was Viking people that were on the side of Brian. What I want to talk about today is the greatest family feud in Irish history because on the side of Brian Baru you had him and his son Marka. You had all his sons, his grandsons. But what a lot of people don't understand is who was on the other side exactly and that's where it gets complicated. His ex-wife Gormla was inside the Dublin city walls with Citric Silkbeard who was her son, King of Dublin, technically being Brian Baru's son-in-law or ex-son-in-law. Citric Silkbeard is the king that went into the defiance of Brian Baru as High King of Ireland with his uncle Mael Morda who was Gormla's brother and he was the King of Leinster. When Brian Baru was married to Gormla, he had a lovely daughter called Slona who was of marrying age and he married her off to Citric Silkbeard. So in fact Slona and Gormla were inside the walls of Dublin with Citric Silkbeard who famously did not fight that battle but he was called the great survivor because he survived a lot of battles with Brian and afterwards as well. So on one side you have Brian with his sons and grandsons, his brothers and his countrymen and Vikings as well and on the other side you have his ex-wife, his son-in-law, his brother-in-law Mael Morda and his daughter. Unfortunately, Brian Baru did lose his life because he did not fight in the battle. He was 73 years old and he had to stay back in a tent and wait. Bro there, who was one of the greatest villains of all time, found him even though they had lost their war. Of course, in his mind, he was going straight to Valhalla for killing the greatest high king. But he was caught afterwards and he was disemboweled. So that is it. Brian Baru and his son, his first son, and a lot of his countrymen died. Donica survived and went on to monster in victory but in a huge defeat and Brian Baru was brought up to the north and there was 12 days of mourning. Citrix survived, Mael Morda died and Slana and Gormla survived too but some accounts do write that Gormla went mad that she went insane after this. So that is it. That was the greatest family feud in Irish history.